Hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. And today, um, as the title source says, we're going to be doing a Manchester United versus Chelsea preview and the predicted starting 11, um, as you can see in this opening graphic. Um, so just first thing about the game, really, I'm actually going to be going to Old Trafford actually tomorrow, uh, taking the, the train there um, so it's just to obviously see the, the game, the start of the game of the season. And I'm looking forward to it. Um, like I said in my video yesterday, and today it's time to be positive um it is really time to be positive you know we need to go into the season of positivity um backing the team back in the manager because ultimately the manager and, and the team feed on that and so we need to constantly be encouraging the team so long as they play for the badge you know we will continue to support them on the field so i think new season new beginning let's get going let's get started so that's really good once again, shout out guys, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Really appreciate ongoing support. We're 815, 16 subscribers now um, on a road to 1,000 subs. So really appreciate if you just hit that like button, share this video, subscribe um, uh, to this channel. Uh, lastly as well, um, another big shout out to our Fantasy League. Link will be in the description, a Fantasy League uh, for Red Devil Studio. Shout out to every video. We have a, a prize, a, a Manchester United 2019-2020 official football kit will be the prize for the winner of the league. So please stay tuned, guys. Um, uh, please, please join that. Uh, link will be in the description. And there'll be a video icon as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, fine. So on to, on to the topic of this video, guys. So Manchester United versus Chelsea. So this is, this is a tough opening game. Um, I can't remember the last time that United played a top six team in the opening game of the season. I generally cannot remember. And to be honest, when I thought when I saw the fix, I thought this was a joke. Um because, you know, why would you want to have you know this at the start of you know you, you want it not at the start of game of the season, but here we are. You know, United versus Chelsea, two inexperienced managers in Lampard and Solskjaer, though arguably Solskjaer is at least half a season of Premier League experience now. Um Two players, two ex players for the clubs, Lampard obviously with Chelsea and Solskjaer with, um, with United. Um, it's going to be intriguing. It's going to be intriguing because there's pressure on both of these sides. I don't think there's an expectation really for either of these sides to get the top four. I think Arsenal would have been in that category, but they've had such an amazing transfer window, and of course Una Emery is an experienced manager. You know, so I think based on those things, Arsenal were expected. Um, to be to get to four and later today we're going to give our, our this channel's um, uh, 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 pre uh, Premier League predictions. We we'll go through that as well, Premier League positions and what have you. But yeah, it's going to be an intriguing contest, guys. It's going to be very very intriguing to see what um, what is going to happen really um, in in this game. Um, and you know, will experience win? Will 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 attack and contest win? Now clearly Lampard is going to get Chelsea to play. We're, we're not going to see Sarri ball again this season um looking at the way derby played especially when they played against us under Mourinho, which was a different manager they'll certainly be a lot more attacking and expansive you know i expect Kante, for example to go back to his defensive midfield role although the reports are that he's injured and we'll come to that in a bit later um but you know i expect this to be a i don't expect lampard to go to old trafford and sit back let's put it that way i expect chelsea to at least try and attempt to come at manchester united um so looking at our graphic on the left, um, this is what I think the starting eleven is going to be. Um, so you have De Gea and goal. That's a non-starter. Um, Maguire and Lindelof. Um, Lindelof is a no-brainer. Maguire, I mean, there's an argument that he hasn't been involved in pre-season, so possibly could Smalling come in? He has been involved in Leicester's pre-season, so he should be match fit, although he's maybe not as fit, depending on how... Um, the fitness regime was United as the other United players potentially. Um, so, but I I expect Maguire to start. I I, I do. Um, but if Smalling starts, I wouldn't be surprised, given that Maguire wasn't involved in United's preseason. But I expect Maguire to start. On the right, I'll see Wan Bissaka. You know, if Ashley Young starts as right back against Chelsea, I will have questions about Solskjaer. Um, I don't think he will. Um, if Young is there, there there's his question marks. They'll begin to be question marks um, because he cannot play against um, Pulisic. Will be he'll be on that side. Um, Wan Bissaka will will deal with Christian Pulisic, but we'll get onto that later. Um, Luke Shaw on the left, obviously. Um, McTominay and Matic. 
Um, now, as you know me, I would rather Fred be there. Fred playing the slightly deeper role compared to McTominay. Um, possibly um, in that midfield, McTominay probably could have um, Pereira there. Some people even say that Lingard might go into the midfield. Um, I think that it's going to be this midfield three that are going to start with Matic playing slightly deeper. I wish it was Fred. I really, really wish it was Fred being that DM, but I just think that he's going to go for Matic. Um, and that's, I think, our one area of weakness right now. McTominay, obviously. McTominay, we'll see. Um, but I will give praise to McTominay in that, in that, to be honest, towards in the last season and, and in pre-season, McTominay has looked good. You know, um, he actually scored two of our goals, you know, towards the end of the season. So he scores goals. He, I think he's improving, you know. So I have high expectations from McTominay this season. Clearly, the manager managed to see something in him that we're not seeing. Yeah, and I and I think that he's going to have have a good season. So let let's back McTominay, Pogba. Now Pogba, hopefully going more upfield. I hope you know, sort of, uh, you know, because you know, because of Matic being the match being slow, I feel like you'd almost have to drag Pogba back in. I'm hoping that um, Pogba will be able to contribute to attacking play, help the 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 uh, the, the front three lay off some balls. And really get involved in, in, in the attack of this squad. Really, 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 really. Um, Pogba can have a good game or a bad game. I don't know. And hopefully he steps up. Um, he's under no obligation. Wanting to leave the club. Wanting in Chan. Wanting to go to Madrid. Etc. Etc. But he has been disciplined about it. He has been a professional about it. From what we can see. Um, so, you know, unlike, you know, your Koscielny's, for example. Who were completely, or, you know, what. Or what David Luiz, or maybe in the Zahar, or is at the end of the day, Pogba has turned up for training. He's 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 gone. He's been part of preseason. He's going to be part of this game. Hopefully, the the room that he's injured um, is not true. I don't think it. I think it is just a rumor. But he should he should start definitely. Um, so Lingard obviously on the right. Um, you know, say what you will. Um, I personally would. Personally, I would play Greenwood there, and maybe Greenwood and Rashford sort of interchange with each other. Um, I certainly don't want to see Mata there, although I think he'd be on the bench. Um, we need pace in this game, I think, because I think this the pace will hurt um, uh, Chelsea in this game, um, especially with support from the flanks. I anticipate that Luke Shaw and Juan Bissaka will go for, will bump up and support, and that is what I'm hoping that will happen in this game. Um, Marshall obviously on the left, uh, and then Rashford up top as the number nine. I know it says eleven here, but you know, but he'll be he'll be up to probably up for a striker. Again, possibly, um, you know, Green were coming on. So if we're talking about subs, obviously Romero, um, Dallo will be there. Smalling, Greenwood, Gomez, um, possibly Garner as well, um, and maybe um, like a, a a a Jones or something like that. So. If we're talking about impact subs, if it starts like this, then I would probably say if, if we wanted to impact the game, maybe a Dallo, maybe a Gomez, maybe a Greenwood. Um, if we're talking about impact substitute, impact substitutions, um, it's Ollie's big test, I think, because even though this is the first game of the season, um, it's very, very important and that we win this game, um, because. When we go towards the end, scene, when we start, be thinking about top four. This is a, this is this is essentially a top four game, guys. You know, um, it, we're at Old Trafford. We win this game. It is a small dent, albeit this is a long season, but it's a small dent in um, in Chelsea getting top four. Small, very very small, and there's plenty of games to go. But when you already like lost one game against your rival for the top four position, it's it's a small dent. You know, Chelsea in the Champions League as well. They're not going to win the Champions League. Let's be honest, they're not. So, um, they're only unless they drop into Europa League after losing out in the group stages. Their only real chance of getting the top four next season um, is is will be via um, will be via the league. Okay, Arsenal and, and United at least have the Europa League still. You know, although we should be pushing for, for top for top four. And for me, I would rather a top four finish as showing league progression. Than, than a Europa League win, because for me, when for me it's about you look at Liverpool, you look at Tottenham, 
their progression, it's not just about where they were in the tournaments, whether they won or not, blah, blah, blah. Their progression was first in the league first. Spurs going from like a sixth, seventh place team to a second, third place team in the years, coming top four. Liverpool, same. And then the sort of, the competition success, when you add squad depth, etc., came from that. You know, my fear of United is that we're, we're acting almost like an unfortunate becoming like Arsenal have been, where we're like, okay, let's just get top four. Let's just get top four. Our prize, our goal is just top four Champions League. We can attract players. We can sort of, it's like, that's fine. But you, there'll be no progress shown, as is the case with Arsenal, if we just have that mentality. Our mentality should be league form. So my 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 stand my end of the season is, we were six last season. Let's get to fourth. Let's progress. Let's show league progress and build on that. So I'd rather us go via the Champions League, via fourth place, because that shows that we've progressed, league progress, than just settling for six and winning the Europa League. You know, that's my opinion. Um, so, yeah, guys. Um, they were talking about how I think this game will go. Um, I would say I'm going to be bored. I'm going to put 2-0 to United. 2-0 to United. Um, I'm, don't, I'm not really afraid of... I think the only... The, the biggest player to be concerned about would be Pulisic. I think Kante is going to go back to his DM role if he's going to play for start. Um, if he plays, that's the only player I'm really kind of like we're going to be able to get through him. If he doesn't play, to be honest, I'm not that concerned about. Without Kante, Chelsea's midfield looks very weak. Loftus Cheek, I think, is still injured. Hudson Doy is out. Um, defensively, they've lost David Luiz. Rudiger, I don't think he's there either. He's still injured. So you've got. Um, will Rudiger be there? I don't know. I thought, I was told he was injured. Maybe he might. He might. I don't know. Zoom will be there, um, and then forward like like you've got Giroud. Giroud can be dangerous, especially from the air. But I think if Maguire plays, I think we've got we because we've now got someone who's got that aerial threat. I think we've got at least got someone who can deal with Olivia Giroud now, um, and Pulisic can be hit or miss. He could be really good, but I think that with Wan Bissaka playing. Um, I think that we can really he can he, he can deal with Pulisic. I don't think I don't think Pulisic will will, will get past Wan Bissaka. I, I just I just really don't, you know. So I think defensively, and this is the key defensively. Um, okay, you've got Tammy Abraham and Richard Swai, but I think defensively we can. There's none of those four players that I'm really concerned about via the, this United defense. The key really is not so much I feel that we're going to score tons of goals past Chelsea unless the hair makes a mistake. The key is are we going to score goals? So, I feel like the key to win this game is United need from the get-go of the first 20 minutes to start on the front foot. It, it, we can't be lethargic, we can't be afford to take our time, no sideways passing. We need to be quick, using our full-backs in Luke Shaw and Juan Bissaka, getting up to support Lingard and Martial. Pogba needs to go forward as well. Like Liverpool did against Norwich, we need to start peppering Chelsea from the get-go, not letting them settle at all, especially if Kante is not playing. Because that, I just feel that they won't be able to cope with that. Um, and, you know, get into Rashford and then start going goals. So, I think that if we start fast, quick, you know, we will be able to easily break down this Chelsea side. Because I think with the injuries and with Lampard's exper inexperience, we don't have any injuries really. We've got a strong, I hope relatively strong start on Levin. Chelsea have a world of injuries. So, we should really, really, really go at, at this Chelsea side. Um, score prediction... Um, I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say two 0 to Manchester United. Uh, could be more, but um, I go two 0 to Manchester United. Rashford to get one, and Pogba. I think Pogba and Rashford to get to get the goals. Um, you know, I think this is a win to Manchester United, and I think we can build up from there. Um, thanks for listening, guys. Once again, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio on our road to one thousand subscribers. Stay tuned for this evening's video where we will do our my Premier League predictions. We'll go for all the twenty teams in the league, um, and we will and we'll see and we'll see what what happens. Um, there'll be some interesting things there. And um, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Follow us on Twitter. We're United X. Join our fantasy football league, Red Devil Studio, for a winning prize. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.